In the past two days, there has been an exhibition hall of terracotta warriors and horses in Hangzhou. It's on the hot search, and there are different opinions on the internet. Many people are complaining about the shape of this terracotta warrior. It's not worth the 58 yuan adult ticket at all. However, some people say, hey, you don't have to travel thousands of miles to feel Xi'an. It's nice to be able to see the terracotta warriors. So what is the pavilion of this terracotta army? Just today, our reporter arrived. The pavilion is located in the lower plaza of Hangzhou Tower. It's a deep dive. Let's take a look. Spin 58 yuan in Hangzhou. You can see the terracotta warriors once. You know what? What does this terracotta warrior look like inside? What is the difference between it and the terracotta warriors and horses in Xi'an? We came to Hangzhou Tower today. Basement second floor. Central hall pavilion. Let's take a look. This one is our hole. Walk into the entrance of the hall. Then go inside. First of all, it is a preface to our Great Qin Empire. It was the entire Great Qin Empire. Rise and fall. An introduction to the whole process. Walk through the preamble area at the entrance. Let's come to the area where the terracotta warriors and horses were first displayed. Here we see that there are about 10 different shapes. Terracotta warriors and horses of different shapes. The internet says that their workmanship is rough or whatever. Honestly, you're going to look at it as a work of art. I think it may not be able to achieve the feeling of a work of art. But if it's just because of studying history, take a look at this craft. Think it's okay. Different from the terracotta warriors and horses in Xi'an. The terracotta warriors and horses visited are more interactive and interesting, with an interactive area for archery. Of course, there is also a super large curve screen here, which can learn some historical knowledge. But the number of terracotta warriors and horses is not a little less. And finally saw a terracotta warriors and horses display area. There is a terracotta warrior sand table. There are more than 100 small terracotta warriors and horses, suitable for children to watch. However, it is especially important to pay attention to the civility when visiting the exhibition. We've seen some terracotta damage here. It's okay. It's a little smaller. The place is a little smaller. Bring the children to come and see, and it's okay to experience it. After walking through two halls, you will finally come to the finale hall, where there are 100 large terracotta warriors. The project team responded. This is made by local manufacturers in Xi'an. They are all artificially made. The whole construction period is about 45 days. The terracotta warriors and horses on display are thousands of people. Everyone looks different. I personally think that the expression of the terracotta warriors on display is not very sluggish. After walking through the entire pavilion, there is also an interesting place to take a group photo. After visiting this pavilion, I feel that if you've been to the terracotta warriors and horses in Xi'an before, or maybe you have very high expectations for the terracotta warriors and horses exhibition, maybe you will be a little disappointed this time. However, if you haven't been to Xi'an before, or maybe I just want to get to know it with my kids on the weekend, the history and culture of the Qin Dynasty. Let's take a look at what this terracotta warrior looks like. Then I think it's a very nice place to come here.